Hi, I'm Sadie, and today I'm going to be telling you how kids can master their multiplication chart in three easy steps. This is a super fast and effective way to learn the times tables, and it's kind of fun too. For most kids, the multiplication chart can be a little overwhelming. There are just so many numbers to remember. In this video, I'm going to explain this three-step system and how you can teach it to your child or student. And if you want to implement the system with printables, you can download the Multiplication Chart Mastery Workbook. It's got over 30 pages of printables. And it's free! The first step to mastering the times tables is to have an understanding that it's just groups of numbers with the same amount in each group. This is a vital step that cannot be skipped. Step number two. Compute the lower times tables with addition. So you have this chart with all these numbers. And most kids think that they have to memorize every one of them. But they don't. Here's the secret. More than half of the times tables can be easily computed through addition. I like to call these the baby times tables. So step two is to present the lower times tables only the lower times tables. With these easy peasy lower tables, kids can just use their addition skills if they get stuck. We've also added the five and 10 times tables in step two. Why? Because they're easy peasy. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now for step three. The pesky upper times tables. Most kids think of those as the dreaded, terrible times tables, the ones with the big numbers. Why do they get such a bad rap? Because they cannot easily be computed by reverting back to addition. Try adding eight groups of eight in your head. Nope, I don't think so. What this means for kids when they get to these times tables is, Memorize, memorize, and memorize again because you probably forgot from the time before. But there is this little trick that makes the upper times tables become as easy as the lower ones. It's called mnemonics. Mnemonics are simply a memory tool to help you remember things. It's probably the most easy and effective way to memorize anything, including the times tables. Don't believe me? Here's a five-year-old reciting the upper times tables that she learned from a mnemonic technique. My name is Ilan. I'm going to do times tells. Do you know what multiplication is? No. Have you learned it yet in school? Um, no. Do you know how to add? Like yeah. You? What is six times six? Six. Thirty-six. I know, you're supposed to do step one first. It was just to prove the point that even a five-year-old can memorize the upper most difficult times tables with an awesome memory tool like mnemonics. It's amazing. So there you have it. Step one, teach a concept of multiplication. Step two, use the addition for the lower times tables. Step three, use the mnemonic tool for the upper times tables, like times tales. The great thing is, once kids learn the memory tool, they can apply it to any type of learning. We thank you for watching. Now go out and conquer that multiplication chart.